is Super Tuesday. The biggest day so far on the election. If you want to get off the work early, take Stop. Breeze. Just think. Recently, I've come to an interesting realization uh, that I wanted to share with you, and that's that boredom can actually be a good thing. Let me explain what I mean. The last few months have been a bit testing for me, and the amount of boredom I experienced was a huge factor in that. I was working on things and getting things done, but even still, I found myself with way too much free time, and as a result, I would get extremely bored, which oftentimes led to a state of depression. I stare at my wall for hours just thinking, I should be doing something, I should be working, I should be moving forward. And it was this terrible feeling I can only describe as worthlessness, as I couldn't bring myself to just relax and just be bored. Boredom was honestly my worst enemy. At least that's what I thought. Boredom is a catalyst for creativity. Ideas are born when you're alone with your thoughts. It's okay to take some time to be bored and think. As a kid, I was very much into Legos. I loved building my ideas to life. And you can imagine, as a kid, I was also bored all the time, as I'm sure most of us were. In this state of boredom, I'd think of some cool new thing I could build. I'd jump up, grab the Lego box, and start building. And I'll be honest, I think this is where my creativity stemmed from. As a creative person, being able to use boredom as a tool is probably one of the most advantageous things you could do especially in this day and age. It forces your mind to wander to places it hasn't before. It makes you think, what's something new I could do or make? Boredom is like the tilled soil you need to grow wheat. Without tilled soil, it's gonna be almost impossible to grow good wheat. And in correlation, without boredom, it's gonna be almost impossible to come up with any original creative ideas. Stop running away from your thoughts. These days, everything is literally designed to keep you busy. Social media in particular is something that is always there for you to pick up the moment you have nothing to do. Everyone is constantly distracted by something. But have you ever actually wondered, what would happen if I just did the opposite? What would happen if I just didn't pick up my phone? Think about it. If you keep distracting yourself with like TikTok or Reels or whatever, you're never allowing yourself to be bored. So you're never allowing yourself to take time to think and come up with a creative thought or a creative idea. Thankfully, there is a simple solution to this and it's probably not exactly what you're thinking. Something I started doing this year is limiting my time on social media, not cutting it off completely, but what I did is I put a 15 minute timer on TikTok and Instagram for each day. This allows me to post, check in on comments, watch the 500 reels my friends keep sending me, but that's it. It makes sure that I don't find myself doom scrolling all the time. And trust me, I know that this part can be pretty hard. Even two months into it, I sometimes find myself grabbing my phone almost instinctively the second I have nothing to do. It's really important to try to fight that habit and just let yourself think. And distracting yourself isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's more about how you're distracting yourself. If you feel miserable when you're bored, then get working on something instead of grabbing your phone. Boredom can also be a motivator to get things done that you may not want to do because it's better than being bored. This is another really good way to use boredom to your advantage because it ultimately ends up inclining you to be productive. That being said, I do still urge you to take some time each day to just sit there and think. Your thoughts can be scary. I think the reason everyone is so obsessed with distractions nowadays is because they're afraid to be alone with their thoughts. It can be uncomfortable to just sit there and think. Trust me when I say I know this feeling, but there's good news. I'm not gonna lie, not only has being bored helped me creatively, but it's also helped me with figuring some stuff out about myself also. With all this time to think, I've been able to take a look at myself and seriously figure some stuff out. And I feel like some people are afraid to do that because they're afraid of what they might find. Now, this might be a topic for another video, but keep that in mind. Being bored can be a good space for you to get to know yourself a little better. Now, obviously, I'm not saying be bored all the time. Obviously, get done what you need to get done. But if you never give yourself time to just think, you'll never allow yourself to be creative. Maybe I'm just a little naive, and this isn't a groundbreaking realization for some people, but regardless, it made a difference in my mindset, and maybe it'll help you too. Are you bored right now? 
Are you going to be bored after you finish this video? Good. Embrace it. Who knows, maybe you'll spark an idea that changes your life.